Coronavirus antibodies have been found in more than a third of white-tailed deer across four states, including right here in Pennsylvania. The United States Department of Agriculture looked into the effects of COVID-19 in these animals and if it poses a threat to humans. Our Peyton Kennedy spoke with one of the leading researchers, and she joins us live now from State College. Peyton, with so many deer in our region, what should people be aware of? Well, Matt and Maggie, the virus can spread from people to animals, but so far researchers haven't found any evidence that shows coming in close contact with the deer can spread COVID-19 to us. Almost 500 blood samples were taken from white-tailed deer in Michigan, New York, Illinois, and Pennsylvania. Researchers with the Department of Agriculture wanted to know the possibilities, the risks, and if more research needed to be done. Studying the susceptibility of certain mammals and other wildlife, such as deer, to SARS-CoV-2 gives us a really good idea of um, um, what potential reservoirs are out there or hosts of the virus. Dr. Tom DeLiberto says white-tailed deer have the protein that binds SARS-CoV-2. And that allows it to enter into an animal's body. None of the deer showed signs of illness, but... They did shed the infectious virus for two to five days after they were infected, and they transmitted the virus to non-infected deer. And he says this study is just a first look at transmission of COVID-19 between people and animals. In State College, Peyton Kennedy, WTHA News.